Welcome to our new episode of Swift UI Elements. Today we will talk about images. So let's dive directly into the code. So the image element is used to display images in the UI. And you can type in image and then you get different initializers. Here you can say um, an image resource. Uh, image with a specific name and optional uh, specific bundle if you have packages and stuff like that. Um, but for now, we will just use the normal initializer with a name. Therefore, I prepared test data in the assets catalog. Uh, I call it the image test image. So I can just type in the name of the image it's here test image and then you should see the test image in the simulator here and what else can we do with the image so uh, image is a normal swift ui element so you can use it like the text and stuff so you can uh, modify the frame so let's just do that so we assign a frame with a width of 200 and for example a height of 400 and as we can see, the simulator doesn't update the size of the image. That's because we have to say that we want to resize the image and that uh, is done via the resizable modifier. So as you can see now, the frame has a width of 200 and a height of 400 and the image is uh, adjusted into the frame. So it gets compressed in the width, uh, but we don't want it normally. So you can say um, we also give an other modifier uh, which is called aspect ratio. Uh, it has a content mode and we have two modes. We can say fit or fill. When we say fill, SwiftUI tries to fill the frame. Um, therefore, it adjusted the image height to 400 and the width accordingly. So now it's too wide, so we can see the full image. But when we change it to fit, then it tries to fit the whole uh, image with the correct aspect ratio into the frame. And to make the frame visible, I give it a background. And let's say we give a color of blue. So now you can see the height is even bigger than the image itself. And that's why it's centered. But the aspect ratio is perfectly how the image is. That's the basic use of image. And now in SwiftUI, we also have an other image type is the it is the async image so let's start over async image is used to load remote images from a url so we can use the initializer with just the url i prepared it so i have a an enum with test data and there is an image url in it and when we paste this in then now the simulator is updating and you can see uh, it has loaded the image with its full size. So that's why we only see a small part of the image, but we can also adjust it. So um, when we now add the resizable, resizable modifier to that, we see that we get a compiler is, uh, error because async image can't be resized by itself, but it has a, a, a closure, which I can use. And into the closure, the image gets injected. And in the closure, I can say, okay, the image I want to resize. So I add the resizable. Um, the code completion is a little bit messing up. Um, I'm using Xcode 15 beta 2 here. So sometimes it's not working as expected. So let's see. Why is it complaining now? Um, I think because um, I have to use also the next closure, which is the placeholder. I think it can only work in combination. So I can say, while you are loading the image, uh, show a placeholder and then exchange it with the real image when it's loaded. So uh, we say image loading. And now when I resume the simulator, hopefully, yeah, you just saw it, uh, image is loading and then you get the image. But also like before the uh, dimension is wrong. So we add also the aspect ratio with fit. 
and now it's loading again and hopefully it is showing the image in a few seconds or maybe not so let's yeah and now you can see it with the correct dimension the image gets loaded and displayed that is the basic use of image and async image and as always if you have comments feel free to put it under the video um, if not I hope you will tune in to the next episode. Till then, bye-bye.